What's going on, watchers of YouTube? It's the Spiral Fox here, back with another episode of my Pokemon Crystal Let's Play. We have, so far, in our party, we have Nature. That's it. So, and last time, we got over to Mr. Pokemon's house, and we totally got, after we exited, we got a call from Professor... We got another Poison Cure Berry just now, I guess. We got a call from Professor Alma as we walked out saying that we, that something horrible happened, so we gotta go find out what that horrible thing is. Now, I would like to say for those that do watch my Dreamfall Chapters Let's Play, I probably, even though I'm supposed to have one of those on Sundays, uh, along with Pokemon Crystal, I probably won't have the Dreamfall Chapters just because a lot happened and I wasn't able to record anything for Dreamfall Chapters, and I don't know if I'll have time today to record it and then render it, so... That will be back with, uh, with along with the next episode of Pokemon Crystal after this one on Tuesday. So, be looking forward to that. Also, if you have not seen my team builder video, you should probably go check that out. Unless you just want to watch the battle spot on Tuesday, or not, who knows? So we're gonna go heal up. We're gonna heal up, even though usually I'm gonna cut this out, because we don't need really to have this, but. Decided to do it because I wanted to keep talking about it, but anyway, so no Dreamfall chapters today. Will be Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Crystal though, as you guys see. So we're gonna head back to Route 29, and we run into this kid, the kid who kicked us earlier. You got a Pokemon from the lab. What a waste, a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. And so he's gonna challenge us to a battle. And his he's question mark, question mark, question mark wants to battle. He sends out his Cyndaquil. So this is our first like trainer battle against an actual trainer, even though we have no idea what his name is. We're just gonna tackle away. I think that's the best thing to do during this battle. Kinda just tackle away if you're playing this alongside or if you're playing like Hard Gold Soul Silver alongside this let's play. The best thing to do is just kinda tackle or scratch or whatever away. But we miss our tackle, which is unfortunate, and he's gonna get another tackle off. He did lower our defense, but luckily we are level seven and Chikorita has high defenses more than any other stat, so we can take his tackles. One more tackle should do the trick. He's going to try to leer us again to lower our defenses. But one tackle will take out the Cyndaquil. And we will grow to level 8. And we will get Razor Leaf, I believe. Now, now we'll get Razor Leaf, which is an awesome move to have. Basically keep it the entire Let's Play. Humph, are you happy you won? I am happy I won. I'm pretty happy I won. I beat you. You kicked me earlier. I beat up your Pokemon. My name's... nothing. <laughs> I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. So he tells us what our name is, but the game doesn't actually tell us. We're gonna continue back to Professor Elm's lab and see what's going on. Could... but I remember Syndical being an option. Could he have done something at the lab? Possibly. Jumping over fences. I think, I want to try that later, hang on. I thought I saw something and I wanted to try it. Alright, we're back in New Bark Town. Beautiful New Bark Town. We're gonna walk up and see what's wrong. And there's a police officer. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Professor Elm. Apparently it was a young male with long red hair. What? You battled a trainer like that. Did you happen to get his name? Okay, so this guy stole Cyndaquil, as I guessed. And we're going to give his name. Now, he told us his name was question mark, question mark, question mark. But I'm not going to buy that. His name is going to be... Um, trying to think of a name. I don't know. Got it. I got his name. His name is Carp. Okay, so Carp was his name? Thanks for helping in my investigation. Yeah, there you go. Go find a boy named Carp, like Magic Carp. 
We're gonna talk to Professor Elm, cause Spiral, this is terrible! Oh yes, what was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? We hand him the mystery egg, and he's so shocked and like, oh my gosh, what the heck is this? Is this is an egg? I can't believe it. This. But is it a Pokemon egg? If it is, it is a great discovery. Yep, yeah, because back then, like, this was the first time you could actually have an egg in Pokemon and they had baby Pokemon. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Spiral, is that true? Th that's incredible. So he's just gonna go on about how superb the potential is at trainers. And then he says that we might have what it takes to become the champion. And getting on great with Pokemon. And we gotta challenge the gym battles. We gotta go to Violet City and battle. And I have set up and basically says we gotta go talk to our mom first. This guy's gonna hand us our Pokeballs so we can catch some Pokemon. That was a lot of talking in a row. Um, and I have my team set up for Pokemon Crystal, and I think it's a pretty good one. I like it. And we're gonna talk to our mom, tell her that we got our Pokemon, and she says that she can save our money. Why not? Usually you don't want to do that, but I don't know. I, I have something in me that's just like, go give her your money kind of thing, but... You know, lend her your money to save up. Because who knows, we may uh, save it up for revives or something later on. We could pull some revives out of my mom's bank, I guess. I've seen you a couple times. How many Pokemon have you caught? Would you like me to show you how to catch a Pokemon? No, nah, we know how to catch a Pokemon. If you want to, then you he'll show you how to catch a Pokemon. If you're in Heart Gold or Soul Silver, Lyra will automatically show you how to catch a Pokemon. Um, trying to remember what Pokemon I decided on. I'm not sure. We're gonna run into a Pokemon right here. Okay, yeah, I just remembered what uh, the first Pokemon I was gonna catch was, so you guys will find out in a little bit after all these Pokemon stop. Man, Razor Leaf looks really cool in this game. I know you guys didn't see it, but Razor Leaf looks really cool. I think there's actually an item up here too, so we're gonna go check that out. Okay, yeah, right. Oh, nope, Pokemon. All the Pokemans coming to stop me. And we get a potion. Potions are good. They're nice. Um, I believe our Pokemon is still holding a berry. Oh man, I can't wait for repels. Repels are going to be so nice in this game. Alright. So, yeah, repels are going to be really nice. We're going to head up here. This is where I'm going to catch my first Pokemon. Not on this route, but on the route above. And he talks about just saving your game. And we're on Route 46, which is where we'll catch our first Pokemon. Mountain Road ahead. Unfortunately, we cannot get to Mountain Road, but that's okay. No, it is not a Rattata. It is not a Rattata. Don't worry. But you guys haven't seen Razor Leaf, so we'll do Razor Leaf. It looks really cool. Really, really cool. And it's one-shotting a lot of things, and it's a critical hit. Probably the critical hit wasn't even needed, but why not? We'll take it. So, we're going to walk around, and I'm going to search for that Pokemon of mine. And it's... Hey, it's this one right away. Didn't even need to cut out anything. It's right here. Spearow is the Pokemon that I will catch. I'm going to tackle away at this thing. Hopefully we won't kill it. There we go. And we're gonna throw a Pokeball at it. Try and catch it. Hit the A button. One, two, three. Caught! We caught the Spiro. Spiro is ours. So we're gonna have to do a good amount of leveling up with this Spiro, but. Spiro, tiny bird Pokemon. Number 21. Height, one foot, weight, four pounds. To protect its territory, it flies around ceaselessly, making high-pitched cries. That's great. We're going to nickname this thing. Oh, I had a nickname for it, but okay. We're going to call you... Um, all I can think of right now is the and is the show when Ash gets attacked by the fear when he threw a rock at it. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think I see I wanted to name him Jack if it was a male but it's not so 
it's a female. We gotta name it something else. Um. Hmm. I think I know. Milady. There we go. No. Um. That's not how you spell it anyway. I think that was the disease. Oops. Um. Oh man, this is taking so long. And I'm seeing the cat outside, the stray cat around our street. Matrix is the name we gave it. It's a pretty cool cat, actually. Just walked across my front yard. Um, all right, so the only thing I can really think of uh, is I, uh, there's no heart or anything. I think it'll fit. Alright, yeah, it should. Nope, it's not gonna. Alright, we're gonna go... Hmm, alright, we're gonna actually go back to the eye. Uh, we're gonna go, I... Love... Alright, so its name will be I Love Rocks, because if you remember in the ana in the TV show, the anime, Ash completely, oops, I hit the wrong button, Ash completely, like, took a rock and chucked it at the Spearow, thinking it was a Pidgey, and attacked violently. Also, Stealth Rocks do pretty good amount of damage to that thing, so we name you I Love Rocks. So, alrighty. That should, let's see, attack 7, defense 6, special attack 6, special defense 6, speed 8. Alright, so we're doing pretty good up here. Nope, did not want to do that. Alright, we're going to walk out, and we have to level up I Love Rocks, because probably should have done some of those with lowercase, but this is just looks kind of jumbled up right there, but we're going to switch to the front. And if, if I run into a Pokemon, I'm just going to keep switching. As you guys know, and if it does level up, that's when I'll show the leveling up, as you guys saw from the last episode. We do get to Cherry Grove City, though, and I will go and heal up real quick. Alright, we're gonna head north to Route 30. 30. And no wild Pokemon running into so far, which is weird. Well, there we go. There's one. There's one. Alright, I'm gonna need to use a berry on I Love Rocks real quick because it got dropped by 10 health down to 3 health, so. Oh, that was not it. All right, whatever. We're just gonna use a berry on Isle of Rocks. Cover 10 HP, which is how much a berry will recover for your Pokemon. We got two. We got. Oh, this guy's not a trainer. This guy is right up here. We can run into him. We'll see what he wants. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. Yes, let us battle. And youngster. The original, what has to be in every game, Youngster Joey, with his Rattata. Or Rattata. 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 Alright, so this is I Love Rocks right here. We're gonna use Peck. Tackle misses, fortunately. We're gonna Peck. Peck isn't gonna do very much. Uh, so we're actually gonna switch out into Nature. And get that razor leaf off and just destroy this rat -ta 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 -ta. ratatouille. We're gonna destroy this ratatouille. Cause why not? Razor leaf. And there we oh, it doesn't take it out. That's interesting. Well it's gonna tail whip, but tail whip fails, and we're just gonna tackle right here. That'll take out Ratata. And we defeat the infamous youngster Joey. And we gain some stats. 
Almost a double level up, but Youngster Joy was defeated. Ah, I lost! Doggone it! Doggone it. You know what? You know what? I gotta say that with my friends now. Just because. And we run into this next trainer. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? Then you have to battle! Do I- do I have to battle? Do I have to? No, I love battling. I'm, I'm gonna destroy this youngster. The old youngsters with the high shorts and the ganks. Youngster Mikey wants to battle. Mike, I'm gonna destroy you, Mike. This for you, Mike. I'm gonna destroy it. There's Pidgey with his little flapping little wings. We sent out Spiro, who doesn't move at all because only the opponent's size moves. And I think we can actually take out this Pidgey with a couple pecs since it's only level 2. And we get a critical hit. That's, that's nice. That's amazing, actually. We're gonna peck one more time. Probably take out the Pidgey. There we go. Alright. And we're gonna go to level 4 with Isle of Rocks. Isle of Rocks is just leveling up quickly. Our attack is getting boosted. About to use Ratata. No. Ratata is level 4. We're gonna use Peck. See how much it does. Pretty fair amount. Tail Whip, though, lowers my defense. I don't want to stay in here because who knows what this thing will do. We're going to switch out into Nature. Just because Nature can probably take care of it with a Razor Leaf or maybe a Razor Leaf and a Tackle, depending. It uses Tackle. And Razor Leaf... Razor Leaf. Nature will grow to level 9 after this battle, which is awesome. Almost level 10. Alrighty. Level 9. Level... Attack is 15. That's strange. I won before. Yep. Oh, yeah. I probably didn't show you guys. These two guys were battling, and he beat him. So, I mean, I beat him. So, he's never battled me. So, I don't know why winning against one person would ensure you victory against another. So, we're going to check out our Pokemon. They're both in pretty good condition. This lady is not. This lady is not a trainer. Um. Prepare to battle if we look a trainer in the eyes. Yes, prepare for battle. And we just looked one in the eyes. Instead of a bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. Uh, so our first battle with a bug catcher. I love rock should be able to sweep the floor with this guy. Bug catcher Dawn. Sent out Caterpie. And we sent out... I love rocks. I love rocks should destroy Caterpie. Ah, I, I, I just thought of an even better nickname for this thing, but whatever. I, I love rocks is fine. I like I love rocks. I could have nicknamed it like like anger manager, like anger management or something like that. We're gonna almost grow to level five, but with his other Caterpie coming out, we should be able to grow to level five. I'd be extremely surprised if we don't. Peck should one or two shot this thing. It'll two shot it, so. It's gonna tackle us, it's gonna do nothing. One more peck, we'll take it out, and we will grow to level five right here. We defeat Bugcatcher Dawn. Ah, you're too strong. I am too strong. I love rocks is way too too school for you. Alright. So anyway, we're here on Route 31, we can't cut that tree down, so we have to go around this way. Around the long grass area with Pokemon there, so... Many, many Pokemon. Many Pokemon. And they all happen to be Pidgeys. This guy is not a trainer. Dark cave. If Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. Yep, if only Pokemon could light up this dark cave. We're gonna get this potion right here. And you know what? We're gonna explore Dark Cave later. We're gonna keep walking here. This guy, I believe he gives you Body Slam later on. <laughs> I walked too far today looking for Pokemon. My feet hurt and I'm sleepy. If I were wild Pokemon, I'd be easy to catch. Oh, he's just said, <laughs> if you're sleepy, if Pokemon's sleepy, it's easy to catch. We gain a Bitter Berry. I wonder what that does. Hmm. I'll have to check that thing out, see what it does. We're gonna go get this item, but first, we have to battle this trainer. I caught a bunch of Pokemon. Let me battle with you. And this Pokemon, this is a Bug Catcher. Bug Catcher Wade wants to battle. Alright, Wade, let's see what you got. You got a Caterpie. You know, I I was thinking about a Beedrill or a Butterfree, but I decided against it overall. 
And we will take this thing out, one-shot it. And... About to use Weedle. We'll keep battling. And we will actually catch our third Pokemon pretty soon here. I just remembered that. So he's going to set up Weedle. Weedle, the little tail whipping Weedle. I don't know. I don't know what to call that. Its tail was just like wagging. We're almost to level 6. It'll send out another Caterpie. We're just going to destroy all of his Caterpies and all of his Pokemon. And then I'm going to go eat lunch after this because I'm a little hungry. So why not? Because it's like, what, it's 12.36? Yeah. So. I... Who's going to bring out one more Caterpie? And we'll knock this thing out with ease. And not after this battle I'm going to go eat lunch, but I mean like, after this episode I'll go eat lunch. So yeah. Bug Hunter Wave is defeated. Oh, That's all he has to say. We're going to pick up this Pokeball, so making up for the one that we used on little, uh, uh, I Love Rocks there. We're going to come up here. Is there one more trainer to battle? Nope, I found a good Pokemon in Dark Cave. I'm going to raise it and take on Faulkner. He's the leader of Violet City's gym. I think, hmm, alrighty. Route 31. So apparently he found a good Pokemon, and we're going to walk over here, and we're going to walk, hang on, what's your name? I came too far out. I'd better phone home. Oh, she's saying oh, she can phone home. And we show up in Violet City. I would like to thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button down below and subscribe to see more and to join the Spiral Armada today. And I'll see you all in the next episode.